Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trina. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a collective haul, um, but I will be doing it in a separate videos because I feel like if I did everything all in one, it will just take a million hours to do it. So I'm going to start off with the eyeshadows that I got. So liquid, powder, all that in between. I will be sharing with you what I've accumulated over the past couple of months. So if you're very interested in watching those type of videos, then Keep on watching. All right, you guys. I'm very excited to show these to you. Um, some of them are still in their packaging. It's been so long that I've already used a bunch of them, but I just have them in this box. So I'm just gonna pull it out and let you guys know what I have. So um, the first one that I have or bought is the Lorac Pro Palette. And I think this one is the third edition. This is the third edition, um, and it has a lot of the cooler tones in it. But I remember the Lorac palette, the first one, was my very first palette that I was just like super in love with because it had like mattes and shimmers at the same time. And I think when I started, um, there weren't a lot of palettes out there that had like a mix of them and like really good colors. They were either all shimmers or all mattes. So very nostalgic having a Lorac palette. So this is the third edition and figured I would try to experiment more with cooler tones because I'm a very warm toned person, but I'm excited to play around with that one. Um, another palette that I got is the Juvia's The Warrior palette. And I was umming and ahhing about like which palette from uh, Juvia's Palace that I would get, but I finally decided on this one. It's really beautiful as well. Okay, so this is um, the palette right here. I always love it when palettes have like this matte bone color, like right there. I love this color. So, um, and also the chocolate browns, I'm just drawn to that. So I'm happy that I got this one as well. Next palettes that I got are from Marc Jacobs. I'm very sad that they just like shut down Marc Jacobs Beauty because I love a lot of their products, but I did get my hands on two of their eyeshadow palettes. The first one is the Fantasine palette, which is one of my favorite ones. I'm like, it's just so beautiful, blends like a dream, super pigmented. You only need a little bit to go a long way. And these colors just are so nice for every day, but you can also take it, you know, a little bit deeper and wear them towards the end of the night. And I just love the colors that are in this Fantasine palette. And then another one from the Marc Jacobs line as well is the Marc Jacobs Fine Grind 900. And this one is from their coffee line. And it has a mixture of warm and cool colors which is, again, beautiful. I really like Marc Jacobs eyeshadows. They're just super finely milled, super soft, blends like a dream, super pigmented. You don't need a lot of it, and it's just really, really good products. So I really feel sad that they are, um, you know, shutting down Marc Jacobs Beauty, but I hope they come back. I really hope they come back. Okay, um, next couple of products I wanted to show you are from a brand called Smith & Cult. Um, I think they're based in the UK, and I have heard about them before, but I've never really tried them. So I really love liquid eyeshadow, so I got a couple, not a couple, I got a lot from their line. So I'm just gonna try to gather them together. So I got these colors from um, their line, and they were having a 75% off. So I think these ones were only, uh, I think five or six dollars. I think probably like five or six dollars each. And um, I got them in Ulta. And only one of the Ultas that we have in town has Smith & Colt. Not all of them have the stand. So definitely check yours out. It's probably still out if they still have a couple of them. Um, grab them. These are such beautiful um, glitter metallic shift eyeshadows. I'll show you one of them. So I will grab gold. So I will show you the colors that I that I do have. I should have done that a while ago, but I just wanted to show you. This is what that looks like. And it's such a beautiful metallic um, eyeshadow. So this is how gold looks like. You can see. And then what's beautiful about this is that there's a difference if you press it and then if you rub it in, it just shifts to another color. It's kind of, it kind of has like a deeper 
um, undertone to it. So that's the gold right there. And then if you rub it in, it gets a little bit darker and it kind of has that black base to it that is so beautiful for like a beautiful smoky New Year's Eve look. I just love putting this on top and um, it doesn't go anywhere. It's not very glittery either. Although it is not 100% waterproof, um, if you wash it off with water, it'll definitely come off. But if you leave it on your eyes and you don't sweat a lot, okay, there, it's staying on. Like if you rub it, it'll just stay there. But water does remove it. So I just want to warn you about that one. Okay, so the colors that I have are bronze, um, silver, amethyst, fiery copper, ice blue, jade, and gold. And these are beautiful. I wish I found more of these. So I really wanted more of the um, purpley colors. So beautiful. Okay, my hands, my fingers are just covered now with just like um, <laughs> eyeshadow on it. Okay, um, I guess we can still continue with Smith and Cult. I just discovered their brand and I watched a ton of videos on it and Samage, I love her, um, she was talking about some of their products and one thing that caught my eye is the um, Sombra Shift Matte and Metallic Eyeshadow Palette and this one is in Lilac Flash. I'll open this to show you guys. The, the packaging is a little bit cheap because um, it's just magnetic but it's also cardboard but the colors inside are just beautiful for brown eyes and what caught me uh, caught my attention was this shift right here so they're very pigmented so I'm gonna put like let's say this deep deep shade right by there so you see that and then when I put the metallic one over it it just changes to like a different color and then it has that purple shift to it too. So it's so beautiful. So I got this one in Lilac Flash and then I also got it in Dusk Blaze which is more of like a earthy palette. Also so beautiful. So the um, mix and match color eye shift this one has gold glitters in it like very very fine beautiful gold glitters in it the other one had like very fine like purple and pink like glitters to it not chunky at all just really beautiful so i'll show you this one i'm gonna grab the khaki color look at how pigmented that is it's so beautiful okay and then i'm gonna grab the color shift and just pat that on there and that's how it looks like. It's got that beautiful like gold shift to it now. I love that. So I have played around with these and they're really beautiful. I'm so glad that I got them. 75% um, off, I think I got them for like $7 a palette. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, next. Is there anything else from Smith & Cult? Okay, yes. The last eye product that I got from Smith and Cult is their glitter shot and I super regret not getting the others because I wanted to test it out but when I after trying this and loving it um, the kiosk was sold out but this one is in bronze and it looks really scary because it has like chunky chunky glitters on it like right in front but if you rub that out and you get to the glitter area it's just so so beautiful. It just transforms the eyeshadow once again. And you know what? Let's zoom you guys in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, just gonna add a little bit of glitter. You guys can see this one is much more glittery. It gives it a little bit more of a pop as compared to this eye right here without it. Now let's even it out because I want to do that and if you want the chunky glitters you can totally do it if you don't you can just remove it but um yeah I really enjoy it I know that the chunky glitter is a little bit disturbing but I feel like if you have like just a plain eye look and not a lot of color on it and you want the chunky glitter you can definitely do that but if you just want the plain glitters just like I do 
It's also so beautiful. I wish I had more colors of that, honestly. All right, moving on. Um, another high-end palette that I want to talk about. I've been eyeing this for so long. It's the Makeup by Mario um, Master Mattes palette. Do you guys say Mario or Mario? Makeup or Mario? I think he says Mario, right? But people in England say Mario. So I'm confused, but I think it's Mario. Okay, never mind. So I got this one. It's the um, matte one, and super beautiful again. It's the Master Mattes, and I am such a sucker for great warm matte eyeshadows. And this one has everything that I need. It's just so beautiful. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Already used it. Already love it. Super easy to blend. All the colors are just wearable and you can use it as transition you can use it day to night i just love an all matte pal uh, all matte eyeshadow look sometimes and sometimes that's really my go-to and i love it i'm so glad that i can just bring this anywhere and have everything that i need so um ian got me this for christmas so I'm very thankful about that i know i've mentioned that i have been loving liquid eyeshadows again i feel like i just rediscovered my love for liquid eyeshadows and they're just super easy to use and super pigmented and one of my favorite ones is of course the steel ones these stay all day um glitter and glow eyeshadows and or are they all glitter and glow no Okay, so these are the ones from Stila that I got, and um, I am just, <laughs> I just love these. These are just really good quality, long-lasting, very pigmented. So the one that I got are Suede Shade, and this one is in Something Blue. Such a beautiful color. I think if I find a picture, I will insert it. And then I also got a Glitter and Glow one in uh, Molten Midnight. And it's just a beautiful, I think I'm going to wear this for New Year's. It's just a beautiful um, metallic shade with some gold shimmers in it. And then I also have it in Grace and, of course, Kitten Karma, which is one of their original ones. So this is the Magnificent Metals, and the Grace one is Shimmer and Glow. So they're all a little bit of a different finish, but just all of them are great. I love them. Another one on the more affordable end of the liquid eyeshadows, this is the Crystal Fusion by Koki, and I saw this in our grocery store um, in that aisle where they had all the makeup, and I was like, oh, I've never heard of this before. I've never seen it before. I've heard of Koki, but not this, but I looked it up right away, and they had such great reviews, so I want to show you guys how this looks like right here. Look at that. It's so beautiful. I really want to go back and get more. I've swatched it. I've worn this in my inner corners, and it's beautiful. It doesn't go anywhere. Also, it has that shift to it. That's super pretty. It's like iridescent. So beautiful. I love it. I'm definitely going back for more. Okay. Um, let us talk about what everybody's been talking about lately. It's the Essence eyeshadow palettes, and these are the six pan ones that have the really cute, like, punny names. So I have one in Coral Me Maybe from, like, Call Me Maybe, and I use this. When I show this on my Instagram account, and I show it the eyeshadow look that I had on, I had so many DMs about what palette that I was using, what eyeshadow I was using, because it looked so beautiful, and this is it. This is only, I think, $3.50. And it has a mix of mattes and shimmers in it, like metallics in it. Not, no chunky glitter in any of the palettes. And I think Coral Me Maybe is my favorite one. So I have that one. And then I also have Bronze This Way. And my palettes are already super dirty because I have used them. So this palette I am using today with a mix of another palette. But I used um, a couple of the shades from this pan. So I used... This guy right here, this gold one right here, that one, and a little bit of this on my um, outer V, and then just the gold one right here, and the orangey one on the other side of my eye, but super easy to blend, super soft. They're really amazing palettes, super pigmented, just like blend so, so well. Uh, so I feel like there are other palettes out there, um, I mean from this line, 
and um, they are other colors too. I think there's a green one and a blue one, but I didn't get them. And then also a taupe one, but I feel like I might grab the taupe one. So this one is, I like to mauve it, mauve it. And um, I know some of you say mauve and some say mauve. So either way, but it, this is a cool toned purple eyeshadow palette and I have yet to play around with this one because it scares me a little bit, but I saw it on somebody else and it was so beautiful. Um, and usually I love purples, but cool tones kind of scare me a little bit, but I will definitely play around with this, especially because I have brown eyes, so I feel like it'll go really well. Okay, um, more on the cream eyeshadows. This one is cream, not liquid, and these are the shadow crayons from e.l.f. Um, I saw this one on sale. Uh, this one is their No Bud Shadow Stick in Champagne Crystal. So I have used this already. Super pretty just all over the eye shimmer. And then this one also was on sale. This is the e.l.f. Electric Mood um, and a, in collaboration with... I, I don't know how to pronounce their name. I really apologize. I'll just put it right here on the screen. I don't want to butcher it. But I will learn how to say it too. Uh, and these are beautiful brown shades, everyday shades. So I like using cream eyeshadows for a base sometimes or just like all on its own and then just like pat it on with translucent powder. It's just super beautiful, easy to use. Just pat it on, use it with a brush or your fingers and you're good to go with that eyeshadow look. So I, I don't know, I just really have been loving creams and liquids lately because they're just easy, like, on the go. Either, like, you just one and done it or you can put it right in the middle to give it a beautiful pop so everything else just has, like, different textures in your eyes. So I really love those. Okay, last few ones. <laughs> these are the last ones, I promise. So these are amazing once more and affordable so i have the wet n wild color icon one and this one is in camo flaunt and this one has straight up glitter in it just right this one right here that one is glitter um this one is metallic and then the rest are um mattes and this one is a like metallic too so these ones are great as well we all know that the wet n wild eyeshadow palettes even after being reformulated are just really good and then I also have the elf bite size shadows and what can I say these are just amazing they're three dollars each you can go from day to night and all of these and they blend like a dream I'm trying to find a way that I can show you so these are the ones that I have I have it in pumpkin pie and I wore this during Halloween um, during the fall it's just beautiful I should open it up for you so that's how that one looks like. They are so beautiful. If you haven't tried these out yet and if you want something that's affordable or like a starter kit, these are so easy to use, easy to blend. You can use your fingers as well for those um, metallic eyeshadows and just pat them on. So beautiful. So that is pumpkin pie. And then I also have it in truffles. I know a lot of people love truffles and it is really beautiful. Again, a cool toned one. So that's how truffles looks like. Very beautiful. And the last one that I have is cream and sugar, which is definitely my go-to one when it comes to them. It reminds me also of Walking on Eggshells by Wet n Wild with that color palette. Really beautiful. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is everything that I got eyeshadow wise uh, for the past few months. Let me know what eyeshadows you guys have been loving. And then also, if you picked up any of these, let me know how you like them. I will be doing an updated one, possibly, like if I like them or not, possibly in a uh, favorites video. I could be talking about them in a vlog. But a lot of these I already really enjoy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I haven't been on in like three months and I figured I really want to jumpstart my YouTube channel. So hopefully I can just like organize myself, gather my thoughts on it, um, and just like be inspired to just keep making videos for you guys because I always just go back to talking about makeup and talking to you guys and it's just like beauty is something that I'm passionate about. So also clothes. I love clothes. Anyway, enough rambling. The light is getting really low. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.